Hey lovelies, today I wanted to show you a super quick and easy sunset sort of tutorial which is just super bright and happy and wonderful because today I was actually recovering from surgery so I wanted to have something that's a bit more joy filled. So starting out of course I've already got my foundation on and my eyebrows already sorted and yes I just did my nails which is why they're a little bit uh, ratchet, sorry about that. Before we can actually get started on the eyeshadow we need to set underneath our eyes so I'm using my Kat Von D setting powder in the color translucent and just using a Real Techniques sponge I just set that underneath my eyes and then I'm using a couple of Makeup Geek colors here so I'm first off going to be going in with my favorite brush set so these are all by MOTD brushes and I'm using the color Beaches and Cream and a little bit of Peach Smoothie and using this as kind of a bit of a base going right from the inner corner of the eye and sweeping it up towards the brow bone just to create a nice bit of warmth and make everything a lot easier to kind of blend all together because we are dealing with a few brighter colors today and just trying to really make sure that it's worked in well then we're taking the color Chickadee which is this beautiful orange shade it's gorgeously tropical and I don't use it often enough because bright colors aren't you know something you can always wear but when you actually can wear them, oh my gosh, they're the best. Because when you're at school or at work or whatever, you can't always go around uh, looking like you've got a sunset on your eyes. So when there's an opportunity to, you know, wear whatever colors you want, I always say absolutely go for it. And I hope to all goodness that in the future, we can actually wear whatever colors we want to on our face whenever we want. And what I also do with this is I bring it underneath my eyes as well. We'll be adding some pink to there later, which is the color Simply Marlena, and I'm taking a smaller brush for this, still a dome shape, and I'm actually just doing little circular motions in the outer part of my eye, and just kind of creating almost like a V, but kind of gradiating that into the orange to create sort of that sunset illusion. And I'm bringing that down underneath my eye as well, here as well and just really trying to intensify that color and make it really pack a punch. One of the things I really like about this color too is the fact it is quite pigmented and as you can see, it shows up very well on your eyes. Then we're going into our Kat Von D palette and if you have a substitute for this that's cheaper, go for it, but I love this shade, it's called Absolution. And I'm just bringing that across the first third of my eye really really trying to make that just stand out because this is kind of like a topper color and oh my gosh it's got this beautiful sort of gold type kind of shift to it and so it just looks beautiful and just just like a sunset effectively then I'm taking a bit of Rapunzel which is one of my favorite makeup geek colors and I'm putting that directly underneath the brow bone and I'm carrying it all the way along to create sort of like a nice soft glow then I'm going in with my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder on a big fluffy brush which I don't put too much product on and so I'm just dotting that all over my face and buffing this in because I've got very oily skin so I find that this trick really just helps quite a bit. Then of course we're taking my favourite and I mean favourite liner and this is Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. As you can see it makes such a difference. And I do have other videos showing you how I use this product as well. Then I'm taking Obsessive Compost Cosmetics. Um, this is their loose powder in the color Oberon. And I'm just adding that to the inner corners of my eye. Just to make that glow even more. And just makes it a bit more tropical. And just, oh, I love this. I'm really, really bringing a bit of bling to the inner corner. Then I'm taking my very uh, dirty, um, this is my Makeup Geek palette. And this is the contour powder in the color Breakup. And I'm using a brush by MOTD Cosmetics for this, which is uh, my supermodel sculpt. And I'm trying desperately, as you can see here, to get that same effect. Doesn't quite work, but you know, this brush is actually amazing. Then I'm taking Get Cheeky with it, and I'm using predominantly peachy shades. But then, uh, to hell with it, let's just get everything all together, right? And I like to apply this by using a stippling motion, because I find that that gives it the most natural effect. Then I'm taking my Eye of Horus Bio Lash Lift Mascara and I'm just going to apply that. Now I've got that on, it's time to my bit of highlighter. This is by Wet n Wild and oh, this is so beautiful. It's just a very much champagne-y gold sort of shift. And I just like to apply this using my Mr. Handyman brush just in that sort of C section just above your cheekbone and I find it just creates a wonderful illuminating effect. 
And for once, I can actually be bothered to do something with my hair. It's like, who is this person? I actually care for once. And then I'm just going to line my lips using the color Pink Flamingos by Wet n Wild. This is their cream gel lip liner and it's a wonderful formula. I just really like to use it in a very sort of, I don't know quite how to say it. I just line up my entire lips and just make sure to fill them in as well. And I kind of overdraw as well because I find that that makes them look a bit fuller. Now here is a chance where you can mix it up a bit. So I'm tossing up between sort of like a pinky ish shade it's a bit more hinting towards coral if you want to go for that sort of angle or there is very much a sort of bubblegum pink and yeah this is a very much bright lip gloss surprisingly pigmented but it's by Colourpop and I do really recommend this it cost me only six dollars and you can really clearly see just how pigmented this product is goes on really smoothly and it's not scented. I find it doesn't irritate my sensitive lips so I actually really do recommend this product if you want something that is very bubblicious. And then there we go, that is the entire look, all done. Oh wait, no, there is always one more step as setting spray. So this is the mattifying setting spray by Cover FX. Yep, it's got a bit of clay in it as well so that really does help your sunset last the whole night through and you're finished that's it you're done i hope that you enjoyed this video and please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did because i come up with new videos every single week and i hope to see you lovelies again soon thanks so much for watching